Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist. Let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal mysteries on earth, bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages unending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles too had accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of an uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained it to them step by step, saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa 
when in the trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me. Looking intently into it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice say to me, Get up, Peter, slaughter and eat. But I said, Certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time, a voice from heaven answered, What God has made clean, you are not to call profane. This happened three times, and then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then three men appeared at the house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angels standing in the house, saying, Send someone to Joppa, and summon Simon, who is called Peter, who will speak words to you by which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them as it had upon us at the beginning, and I remember the word of the Lord, how he said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us, when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles too. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A thirst in my soul for the living God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst in my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. Then shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of the gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. the good shepherd says the Lord I know my sheep and mine know me
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice as he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, they did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in yesterday's Gospel, Jesus differentiates a good shepherd from a bad shepherd. And where lies the difference? Jesus told us in our Gospel yesterday that you will be able to identify a good shepherd from a bad shepherd in the concern that they have for the sheep. A good shepherd is concerned with the sheep. A bad shepherd is concerned only with his pay. In our Gospel today, Jesus differentiates between a shepherd and a thief. And where lies the difference? By looking at where one enters in order to go to the sheep. Paano mong malalaman kung sino ang pastol sa magnanakaw? Tingnan mo kung saan dumadaan papunta sa mga tupa. The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd. He has the right intentions. He has the good intentions. That is why he enters the sheepfold to go to the sheep. But the one who does not enter through the gate but climbs elsewhere in order to go to the sheep is not the shepherd, but a thief. And a thief comes in order to steal, to slaughter, to take advantage, and to destroy. Diyan malalaman ang pagkakaiba ng pastol na mga ngalaga sa tupa sa magnanakaw na sasaktan lamang ang mga tupa saan siya pumapasok papunta sa mga tupa. 
And Jesus tells us in our gospel today, I am the gate. I am the way in order to go to the sheep. If you want to go to the sheep, if you want to take care of the sheep because you are the shepherd, then pass through me. But those who do not pass through me, those who climb elsewhere, those who pass elsewhere in order to go to the sheep, they are not shepherds. They will only hurt and destroy the sheep. If you are a good shepherd, you will pass through Jesus to go to the sheep. And this we see in the kind of shepherding shown to us by Peter in our first reading today. God opened the eyes of Peter so that he may be able to see that the Word of God is not only for the Jews but also for the Gentiles. Through a vision, God showed him how even the Gentiles are invited by God to salvation. And after the vision, through the Holy Spirit, driving him to shepherd the Gentiles, he was asked to accompany three men. And the Spirit told him not to discriminate, not to look at them as others, but to look at them as fellow believers. If Peter were to lead only based on his own principles, he would not have shepherded the Gentiles. But because as a shepherd it was Jesus who led him, then he welcomed even the Gentiles to the church, to the flock of God. My dear brothers and sisters, if you are given the responsibility to lead other people, if you are given the task to govern, if you are given the mission to handle, to manage, to supervise, to form people, then see to it that you pass through Jesus in order to go to the people entrusted to your care. Be a shepherd, not a thief. Dumaan kay Jesus upang makapaglingkod tayo ng mabuti sa ating kapwa. Kapag hindi tayo dadaan kay Jesus, hindi tayo magiging mabuting pastol. Tayo'y maninira lamang, mananakit lamang, ng mga ipinagkatiwala sa atin. That is why it is important that as leaders and shepherds, we pass always through Jesus. Because Jesus is only the gate, is the only gate in order to go to the sheep. And let us also check those who are governing us, those who are leading us, those who are supervising us, let us check our leaders, whether that be in church, in government, in business, in society. Do they pass through Jesus or do they climb elsewhere? Ang mga namumuno na hindi dumadaan kay Jesus, aabusuhin lamang ang kanilang pinamumunuan. Pero ang mga namumuno na dumadaan kay Jesus, maglilingkod, mangangalaga at magmamalasakit sa mga ipinagkatiwala sa Kanya. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus tells us today, I am the gate. And so let us pass through Him. Let us not be thieves. Let us be shepherds to one another.
The Lord is the Good Shepherd who knows each one of His flock by name. Let us offer our prayers to God, trusting in His personal love for us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father, God's chosen shepherd, may lead us into the ways of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christian believers may come one flock under one shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our young people may have life and have it too to the full through fidelity to the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those who suffer may trust in God and Good Shepherd who came to rescue the lost sheep. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may pass through the gate of the sheepfold and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Most gentle Father, you guide us along the right path. Your Son is always here beside us. Comfort us by granting these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Laetare, Alleluia, Via, Quemeruisti Portare, Alleluia, Resurrexit, Sicut, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.